Hi guys, James here, Gaming Central PH, and in this video, we're gonna be doing an unboxing and review of the Galakit Elves Pro controller. So the content of the box is pretty basic. It comes with manuals, charging cable, some stickers, the controller itself, and a hard case. You can now put this controller in your pocket and take it anywhere you go. Buttons are really clicky and they're kind of loud so it's not going to be the best idea to play when someone is sleeping beside you. Size wise, it's between the middle of the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller and the 8-bit Doe Lite Controller. Same thing with the price. Uh, price is currently at $25. Here in the Philippines, it's 1,600 pesos. You can also connect this controller to Windows devices, iOS, Android, and of course, Nintendo Switch. The buttons are also soft to touch. It's not like when you're using a Adobe controller. Like, the buttons for Adobe controller are normally very hard to press. But with the Galaxy uh, controller it seems like you're using a Nintendo switch light buttons so that's how soft press the buttons are analog wise I kind of like the distance of the analog stick to the buttons since they're kind of far away you won't be able to accidentally press the, the analog stick while you're mashing the buttons Oh, what's that? The rumble sound is really disturbing. It's awful. Well, you can adjust the rumble intensity of this controller. That's really nice, but it's still the same. It's not gonna be as premium as the HD rumble of the original Nintendo Pro Controller. So I had this controller for almost a year now and all I can say is that the gyro feature is not that accurate so don't bother using this controller if you're gonna be playing games that requires gyro. Two things that I like about this controller is that it has a feature that can record the buttons that you press. It's like an AI feature wherein you can record your movement for like a certain amount of time. I also like the fact that it has a very long battery life. It also doesn't consume any battery just in case that it's just on standby mode, which is really nice. So the final question is, is this controller worth it? Well, if you're going to be buying it for like $30, most probably not. But if you can find a deal wherein it's just around $15 to $20, I would say that's a good deal. It's lightweight and compact. The only thing that I don't like about this controller is that the price point is kind of high compared to what it can offer. This is James again from Gaming Central PH. Stay safe and happy gaming everyone.